Hi guys, today I want to show you my first ever finished sketchbook. To give you a bit of a backstory, I actually never used sketchbooks when I was younger. I only painted on loose paper, so this is really my very first sketchbook, and therefore also my first sketchbook tool. So let's get into this. This is actually a Hahnemühle sketchbook, like a watercolor book, and it's cellulose paper like most watercolor sketchbooks but i really enjoyed this one after i finished it i actually bought another one just like it because i liked it so much as you can see i started this in april last year just after starting the whole drawing thing again and i finished it just a few months later because this is not very big it's it's an a6 sketchbook you can see if i put my hands here you can see the comparison so my first ever sketchbook i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know how to really handle sketchbooks at all so i just started experimenting and so the first thing i did was studies like this this is after Alfonso Dunn's book, which I recommend highly. I will put it in the description below. And this here was a study for a bigger drawing I made, and I was trying out different techniques. So this sketchbook wasn't really meant to contain finished pieces at all, but that's how it ended up in the end. So here are more studies after Dunn like these and normally I wouldn't even be showing these but they're in the sketchbook as you can see I always marked that it was a study then here we're getting into more experimentation didn't work out at all these were watercolor pencils and I don't like them you know this was after a photo reference so also a study but the ink work was my own then here more studies and this is actually Heckel's forms of nature and they're not originally ink but I wanted to do ink most of these are actually ink and water soluble graphite so if you see something like this that might be ink or that might be water soluble graphite I have no idea ah here that's where it came from this one was just an attempt with doing ink wash and I think it turned out really nice. This one was also for a bigger drawing. I, I kind of like doing these little semi-creepy type things. Uh, I haven't done any of them in ages but I really enjoyed those when I was making those. Now here I started to get into making more finished stuff this I actually made a little later because there was an empty page here and I wanted to have these spreads somehow related to each other and there was an empty page I didn't know what to put there and I put this fox there in the end and you will see from the drawings I made after this in the sketchbook that this is after practicing animals for quite a while so it's not how I started out I will show you again in a moment now here I started with the whole having the spreads in the same theme. And here you see my first ever attempt at drawing a bear. And it was such a failure. I mean, look at him. He's still cute, but he doesn't look like a bear really. And throughout the, the stages of this drawing, he looked like a fox like this. Look, here, here's a fox. And I think also a cat at some point, and yeah, kind of bear-like, but my bears have improved a lot. And if you compare this to the fox here, it's a lot better, the fox. That's what happens when you practice a lot. Now here, this is when I started using watercolors. I had never used watercolors in my life before. And in my school, we used to do gouache, and I was horrifically bad at it. But this was my first attempt with watercolor, and I think it turned out quite all right. This one was after a picture that I had taken in Berlin several years ago, and I think it turned out 
quite all right and I'm happy with the colors too. Now these were studies of trees from a tutorial. I will try to link it if I can find it. This was my first ever attempt at drawing from life outside. For that, it's kind of all right. I quite like it. Something weird happened with this here. This should have had masking tape, but I hadn't yet discovered the joys of masking tape. Here I had. And these were studies of different landscapes and different seasons. And the autumn one is here. Here's summer, and there will be winter too and spring. Here, I attempted using gouache. This is the failed spread. I'm not even sure why I'm showing you this. I kind of like these, but this is such a failure. Uh, the ball, the, the color just went really wrong because I didn't really realize that glazing a lime green on the bottom layer would have such a terrible effect. Anyway, here, my first attempt with gouache, let's just say I was very bad at it, and uh, I have improved a bit since then, but yes, this was the quality of my schoolwork. Here we have two landscapes. Again, I used to do a lot of landscapes in these tiny little ones. Uh, I really like the sky. Here something went wrong, but I really like the clouds here, for example, and generally it, I find it very expressive. My first attempt of painting snow kind of worked all right, but this was also after a tutorial on YouTube. I need to find it and then I link it. And bird studies and my masking tape did not adhere, adhere well. And a lot of quinacridone rose in this. I was experimenting with that combination of quinacridon rose and paints gray, and I really like it. Here I was experimenting with colored outlines, and I didn't have a red yet, which means that I kind of don't like the outlines on, on the red flower here, but the rest I really like, actually. And this one was drawn on a day when I was feeling a bit gloomy and not really happy. And it was raining too, and I decided to paint this, and it made me happier. So, painting helps sometimes. Now here, I, I was having fun with these. These are actually from old photographs, and I decided to just turn every human in the photograph into an animal, and that was lots of fun. Also, the old photographs, they are so old, they're from the 1800s. They are so old that they're, of course, black and white, so uh, the color was all mine, of course. Now here I got Rose Matter Genuine, and I was trying to paint my first pig. It did not go well. I mean, that's some serious, seriously creepy pig, but his expression is so funny. In any case, I was still experimenting a lot. Don't expect every painting in here to be beautiful, it was my first ever sketchbook. I mean, if you clicked on this, you probably knew what you were getting into, right? Now, this is a little parody of my husband having his usual problem of not finding a space for his books. This was actually also my very first self-portrait. You can see me here, you can see me here in the background. And then I imagined where the two would be living. Kinda like that place. The coolest thing about this is that this place is actually real. It exists. That's so weird. Now my first attempt at a uh, galaxy sky, and I think it turned out really nicely. The trees have the perfect color, and yep, yeah, I used gouache for the stars, obviously. And then here is a little cathedral of a forest. It's, it turned out very nicely, I think. I was in a purple mood that, that time. And here we have 
another attempt at a bear and I think it didn't turn out so great. I draw bears much better now, but I had to practice a lot to get there. So this is already a while back and you can see my progress from there in just a few months. Since I drew the, the forest and it looked like a f cathedral, I thought a nice little cathedral would be also a nice subject. And here is one. I think the lighting effect is a bit strange. There should be windows up here, but uh, they're not, so the light must be coming from below. Uh, where would they? Where would the light be coming from? Here's a bear reading under a tree, and he has a pillow. I think every bear should have a pillow when reading under a tree. And I really like the textures of the tree in this. Although I think the ink, I think the ink in the background is maybe a bit too much. I've since then stopped doing the ink outlines for anything but the actual characters. Then here we have a bear looking at the stars and at some dragonflies. And this is done with silver paint. The Kuritake brand. Here we have a bit of a sequence. And a little story unfolds here. The cat with an impossibly long tail is seeing that the weather is changing and will call home to get picked up, I suppose. And this box tells you that I was practicing draw box at that stage. And it helped a lot, I have to say. Then here we see that it's starting to rain and there's a little snail coming about. And there's an umbrella flying, which is handy. Because then the cat can actually hide under the umbrella. But it still got wet, of course. And then this, this was one of those moments when I was drawing an animal, in this case a crocodile skink, I believe. It's a very tiny little thing that looks like... It's a reptile that looks like a dragon, but he doesn't have wings. I decided to turn, turn him into a dragon, and in the photo reference he was actually holding on to a, a thumb uh, here, and I turned it into a rock and painted this landscape around it. We're getting to the end. This is a swan boat, and I had never seen that behavior before, but I found a picture of, of that and I decided to draw the swan in like a foggy mountain landscape. The owls are just so funny. And as you can see, I stopped doing most of the ink in the tree background. Then there are a few pages just swatches, I'm not going to show you them. And here's the last spread. This might be familiar to you if you've looked at the banner at the top of my channel page, because this at the moment is my channel header. Yeah, he lost his, his wrench in space, which is annoying, I would say. And he also looks like, oh, not again. I really like how this one, this one turned out. And this was the last one. Overall, I enjoyed the sketchbook. It was a lot of fun. And it was the first one I ever finished. My favorite ones would be this fox here. As I said, I painted him later than some of the earlier paintings here. And you can see there's a lot of improvement in my animal drawing skills just throughout this short amount of time. I started this in April, finished it in July, and I improved a lot in that short amount of time. So overall, it was a really good sketchbook to use, and I would recommend it. It's obviously not cotton paper, but 
I quite like it. You should try it out, I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this sketchbook tour, and I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye!